Please rise and move your cap for the singing of the national anthem. This is something we have all heard at sporting events. Do we really know who wrote the actual song? Hello, my name is Francis Scott Key. I was born on August August 1st, 1779 on a small farm in Baltimore, Maryland. I have two siblings. I married Mary Tola on eight, January 1st, 1802. I have 11 beautiful children with Mary. I was inspired to write this song during the War of 1812 when the when I was when I, the British captured a small American cruise ship that I was on. The bombing of the Fort McHenry inspired me to write inspired me to write the national anthem. As I watched the battle through the night, I was relieved to see the American flag was still waving early in the next morning. The, the this line inspired me to put this this line inspired me to put in my song. The rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in the air being proof through the night that our flag was still there. On January 1st, 1843, at my daughter's home in Baltimore, Maryland, I died at the age of 63 years old. Hello, I'm Pocahontas. I was born in 1595 in Chesapeake Bay, now Virginia. When I was 15 years old, my uncle captured John Smith and had a plan to kill him, so I jumped in and saved his life. And I, after that, um, my people decided to adopt him into our tribe. In 1613, I was baptized a Christian and was kidnapped by Englishmen on a ship. In 1614, I sailed to England and married John Rolfe and received the English name Rebecca. And a year later, I had a son named Thomas. In 1617, I got ill from London's air and died at the age of 21. I was buried in St. Green Church in England and my sister took care of Thomas. I was one of the most famous Native Americans in history. Thank you for listening to my speech. Hello, my name is Dr. Seuss. I was born March 2nd, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm a writer. I've written 44 children's books and two adult books. My most famous books are Cat in the Hat and Green Eggs and Ham. It was hard. To, it was hard. It was not easy being a writer during the Great Depression, and many and many of my books were rejected by many publishers at first. I also worked in Hollywood writing screenplays, but writing books was my favorite. A friend gave me a challenge to write a book to help with children's literacy. That book was called The Cat in the Hat. I then can I then continued to succeed in my writing career. I died September 24, 1991 in the Gala, California. Thank you for listening to my speech. Have you ever heard of a female pilot? Oh, well that's me. Hello, my name is Amelia Earhart. I was born July 24th, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. Something you might not know about me is that I was a nurse in World War I. In 1928, I became the first woman to fly over the Atlantic as a passenger. In 1932, I became the first woman to fly over the Atlantic as a soloist. I held the world record for being the first person to fly from Hawaii to the U.S. mainlands. I was soon practicing for my flight to circumnavigate the globe. On June 1st, 1937, at the age of 39, I took off for my long flight around the world. Unfortunately, my plane crashed in the Pacific Ocean and I was pronounced dead on July 2nd, 1937. Thank you for listening to my speech. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. That's from one of my songs, Hound Dog. Hello, my name is Elvis Presley. I'm famous for my music. During my life, I sang songs served in the Korean War and worked for the FBI. I went to serve in the Korean War and luckily came back alive. When I worked for the FBI, I went out to the streets and caught drug dealers. Uh, I married Priscilla Presley and we had one child, Lisa Marie Presley. We s later got divorced and soon, and soon before I died, I had a fiance named Ginger Alden. I died on August 16th, 1977, I slumped over in my bathroom. Thank you for listening to my speech. Okay. Hello, my name is Andy Oakley. I was born on August 13th, 1860 in Dark County, Ohio. I am most well known for being the first female sharpshooter of the United States. Some interesting facts about me are that I started hunting at a young age to help provide for my family in poverty. I had my first successful shot when I was just eight years old. I also was in... Frank Butler's Wild West show in 1885. I sadly died on November 3rd, 1926 in, Dar in Greenville, Ohio. Thank you for listening to my life story. 
I'm Ulysses S. Grant, and I'm going to tell you my story. On April 27, 1822, I was born in Georgetown, Ohio. When I was a boy, people made fun of my name and called me useless. But I was, useless was never compared to me. In fact, I've become one of the most important and bravest people in U.S. history. I grew, grew up in a family of eight, and the oldest house, six kids. I found love in horses and worked at my neighbor's stables when I was a kid. Later in my life, I would go to West Point and military academy. I would then marry Julia Grant before going on to fighting in the Mexican War. The next war was Civil War. I was interested in fighting. I was interested in fighting and applied to run for a regional or state. I got denied a couple times since I wasn't in the military for a while, but eventually got it. During the war, I'll be nicknamed Unconditional Surrender for sending a letter to the South saying, no terms will be accepted except unconditional and immediate surrender. The Civil War was hard and brutal, but on April, on April 9th, 1865, 1865, the Confederates surrendered. After the war, the people not, not made me president for two terms. After presidency, I lost almost all my money and had cancer. I raced against cancer to write a biography about me. This was the last battle I fought and died on July 23, 1885. Hello, my name is Booker T. Washington. I was born April 5, 1856 at Hills Ford, Virginia. I was once a slave, but I was freed after the Civil War. I am famous for becoming an important black community leader. My most famous speech was the Atlanta Compromise, which I read to the International Exposition to tell them the black community's concerns. I started the Tuxty Institute, a school for black and white students. I had three wives and three kids. I adopted my last wife's niece, I worked at my school 34 years until I died November 13, 1915, and I was buried at my school two days after I died. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Colin Paul. I was born on April 5, 1937, and I have a mom named Marmalade Adam McCoy, and a dad named Focus Pop. I'm important for being the 65th United States Secretary of State. Another thing I'm important for is being a four-star general for the U.S. Army. So, something interesting about me is that I was a school teacher for the Army, and I tested gun equipment. Surprisingly, my son was in a car crash and was severely injured, but survived barely. Finally, I am still living into my 83rd year. Okay. Have you ever been on a huge airplane for a family vacation. Well, if you have, there's a chance that it's been a plane that my company manufactured. Hi, I'm William Boeing. I was born on Saturday, October 1st, 1881 in Detroit, Michigan. I had two sisters named Caroline Boeing and Katrine Boeing. I married Bertha Potter Michelle in 1921, and we had two children together named Nathan and Crimson. I'm most famous for building planes for World War I and World War II. I even built boat planes that allowed you to travel across the ocean. But what I'm most known for is the Boeing 707. This is a large commercial airplane that helped with the transportation a lot in the, that I built in the 1950s. The company is most known for aerospace and big commercial planes. I died on my yacht named Taconite from a heart attack on Nineteen fifty six. Hi, my name is Harry Houdini. I was born March twenty fourth, eighteen seventeen, in Budapest, Hungary. I'm known for being a magician and escaping from many, many things, including handcuffs, coffins, straitjackets, and more. I have two siblings: my brother Dash, my sister Gladdy, my mother Cecilia, and my father Rabbi. I have wanted to be a magician since I was seven years old, and finally at the age of 17, I became a magician and started doing magic tricks with my brother Dash. 
Sadly, I died October 31st, 1926, at the age of 52. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hi, my name is Sojourner Truth. I was born in 1797 on a farm near the Hudson River in New York. I was born as a child of slavery. My parents are James and Elizabeth Barfield. I am the second youngest out of ten children. I only ever knew my brother Peter because the rest were sold when I was younger. In 1808, I was sold to the Neelys for $100 on a flock of sheep. They treated me poorly. Two years later, I was sold to James, where I met the love of my life, Thomas. After 12 years of being married, we had four daughters and one son. I am known for my speeches about God. I could stop farmers from doing their work to listen to me. There was a proclamation made in New York that any slaves born before 1799 would be sent free. My owner claimed he still owned me and he wouldn't let me free, so I escaped. I got a job at Quaker's Oats, who helped me fight a lawsuit against him. I won. I am known for being one of the first black women in the United States to win a lawsuit. In 1827, I published a book called Sojourner Truth, A Northern Slave. This thing gave me enough money to build a house in Battle Creek, Michigan, where I died November 26, 1883. Thank you for listening to my life story. Have you ever seen the big green and yellow trappers in the fields around your house? Your house? Those are farm business, John, John Deere. Hello, I'm, my name is John Deere. I was born, my na uh, I was born in February 17, 1804. I had five brothers and sisters. I had five, uh, I married Demers Lang in 1837 and we had five, nine children. In 1837, I invented the self Sakarian plow, Sakarian plow, which, which made which made farming easier in the Midwest. It allowed to, the soil to fall off the easier, so farmers didn't have to stop cleaning blades all of the time. My invention had was was my invention was my invention was a turning point in the farm. I graded, I graded the a business you probably have for me with John Deere. I died on May 17, 1886. Welcome to the wonderful world of Walt Disney. You may know me for my famous inventions, but that's not all about me. I was born on December 5, 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. I married Lillian Bounds and had two daughters, Diane and Sharon. My mother was a teacher, but she gave up her teaching career to raise her five children. My father was a farmer, but he got sick with typhoid fever and died on September 13, 1941. I created the first full-length animated film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I created the most famous Mickey Mouse ever. I also, cre I also constructed Walt Disney World and its amusement parks. I had four siblings, and my brother Roy was the most helpful because he was my business partner and helped me a lot through life. Unfortunately, I had a bad habit of smoking, and I got lung cancer and died on December 15, 1966. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hi, my name is Sally K. Wright. I was born on May 26, 1951. I'm very well known because I was the youngest astronaut in space at the age of 32 and the first American woman in space. I was born in Los Angeles, California, and I later moved to the suburb of Etna, California. My mom's name is Joyce and my dad's name is Dill. I also have a sister named Karen. When I was younger, I had a passion for tennis. I actually played on my school's tennis team. My mom was a teacher my dad was a professor. Because of this, they took me and my sister on an educational vacation to Europe. When I arrived back in Etna, I was able to skip a grade because I was really smart. When I saw the advertisement that NASA was accepting people, I, laid, I threw the idea of having a tennis career out the window and I signed up to be a part of NASA. NASA accepted me out of 8,000 other people. When I was working at NASA, I met a man named Steve Hawley. We got married in 1982 and I later launched my spaceship on June 18, 1983. I came back to Earth in 1984. Sadly, at the age of 61, on July 23, 2012, I died to the cause of pancreatic cancer. Thank you for listening to my life story. 
Hello, my name is Sitting Bull. You probably know me as the crazy and brave Indian who never followed the United States rule. I was born in 1831, and, and my parents were Sitting Bull, uh, Jumping Bull, and her holy door. I had one brother named Spotted Elk, but he was referred to as um, Bigfoot. What did you do? I was always fighting against land with the Ulysses S. Grant, and and, and finally though, um, and finally surrendered to him in 1881. Then sadly died in 1890 due to a shootdown.